morning friends i am dr shweta and uh, i am going to present something very interesting about the brain however the theme is reinventing the world but we will see it through the lens of reinvention of our thoughts and self so let me take you back in time 1748 a young gentleman british aristocrat and a politician named mr john montagu loved to play cards now as you know you need two hands to play the cards Mr. John also wanted to eat at the same time. How do you do that? You want to play the cards with both hands, but also eat simultaneously. So Mr. John had an idea to put meat in between the two lofts of the brain, uh, bread, sorry, and eat it like a sandwich while playing the cards. I want you to imagine he's playing cards with one hand while eating with the other and nothing less than what we call the modern day sandwich was born. Yes, my dear friends, he's the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Now, I could have presented this fact in a very dry fashion, informationally oriented, that sandwich was invented by John Montagu. Sandwich is a meatloaf which is kept in between the two slices of the bread. How would it sound? And possibly you will never remember that. When I created a story around it, your brain started to imagine Mr. John Montagu's picture and started to imagine that he's playing cards. You started to connect with the character and bring out visually a vivid picture of him in your brain. My dear friends, this is the power of storytelling. And today, as a neuroscientist, a neuro researcher, a neurologist, let me bring you these super facts about the story telling capability of the brain as well as the trap with which the brain can absolutely be affected by the same story telling uh, capability of the brain so you may be wondering how is this possible yes so this another 14 minutes we will drive down this uh, beautiful logic that you cannot fall into the trap of the stories while at the same time you need to have the ability to tell beautiful stories listen to the stories and make meaning out of it brain is one fantastic sophisticated instrument i always call it as the romance with the brain and i'm sure if you will read about those facts it will be an imminent romance for you as well we have evolved we evolved from the little tiny creepy crawly creatures called the reptilian brain to the mammalian brain which is in uh, elephants to this sophisticated human brain with a beautiful thing called cortex or the rational brain but we still harbor that limbic brain or the emotional brain which is in the reptiles right here both parts of the brain are there right here kicking in as you even listen to me what is the brain doing when you are listening a story now this is very very powerful okay and that is the reason why hollywood is into business bollywood is into business any person who tells a great story is into business you immediately your brain can connect you can donate you can absolutely win the hearts of people if you have the ability to tell a powerful story University of Southern California, the scientists discovered a default mode network in the brain. It's a beautiful network, which we thought it's autopiloting and it has nothing really to do with our lives. Well, it has a lot to do with our lives. It is the one which associates meanings to these stories and it is very prudent to keep them within our brains for a long period of time. You will remember stories when you were little kids. We all read Chacha Chaudhary and uh, Amar Chitra Katha and all as we grew up. We still remember those stories. Why? Because our bottom parts of the brain or practically the anchoring portions of the brain connected that meaning to the character. A narrative obviously is very important, but the emotion that you connect to a character gives life to a story. If you want to become a great storyteller, you have to get to that emotional content, to that emotional self of the brain to your listener. Neuroscience says a listener's brain and a storyteller's brain has the same number of neurons or the brain cells kicked in. Isn't it marvelous? Why? Because the brain is searching for meaning. We are all meaning making machines. 
A narrative is told, what is in it for me? Immediately the brain connects to a meaning. How many of you have passed by the highways and the roads? There is a road traffic accident. You have nothing to do with the accident. You are driving or you're sitting in the back seat of the car, but you will stop to look what is happening. Why is it so? It's because your brain wanted to know if there is something for me to learn in the scene out there. Brain is constantly seeking meaning. Brain is constantly figuring it out what is happening around and most importantly, why it is happening around. This is the meaning making drive of the brain which makes it unique. You all are students. You all have a beautiful life out there. If you understand what a brain understands, I think we will get rid of all the failure uh, related suicides and all the drug addictions and all the traps. It is an instrument. If you bring in a fantastic uh, MP3 player and then you just plug it in without reading the manual, what will happen? Possibly it will work well, very good. Possibly it will just blow off because you plucked it wrong. The voltage that you were supposed to do was incorrect. Possibly it will not work. So reading the manual would actually lead you to not commit that mistake. So for me as a neuroscientist, I consider brain as an instrument. Knowing some fundamental facts about brain is something which can make your life successful, make you connect to the world better, make you a great human being and embrace peace, happiness and success. The fundamentals are very small, but very powerful. Coming back to the brain, I'm a great proponent of whole brain. So left side of the brain is merely understanding the narrative, the information, the structure, the sequences, the logic, the numbers, while the right side of the brain is more interested in the multimedia, pictures, videos, music, dance, drama, literature, theater, arts, but the whole brain and the story is something which kicks the whole brain. Stories kick the whole brain out, not just left or right, and stories create a deep and powerful meaning. So what you should do in your daily lives, read motivational stories, connect to people who share their stories, be absolutely interested in knowing about other people's story. Your brain can learn better than to read simple informational facts. Stories activate this default mode network, which we talked about from University of Southern California, connect it deeper, make oxytocin, oxytocin, dopamine. These are all happy chemicals. You can associate with the character, create happiness, understand, relate, engage, and take a step in your life. So my dear friends, stories are immensely powerful. Read more stories, listen to more stories, be a fantastic storyteller in your life. Learn how to craft stories. You can actually even perform better in anything that you do if you have crafted this habit of storytelling. Remember, you're kicking the whole brain of the other person. You are bringing that connection, meaning making drive of that brain by telling that. But wait, is it only the positive aspect or the story and the motivational content which we get connected to? Unfortunately not. The same meaning making drive of the brain, the same drive which is making us understand the stories is also the cause of our failure. And you may be wondering, why is it so? Because what really happens is because of the meaning making drive, I'm constantly figuring out why. A friend passes by and does not wave at me and I wonder, Hey, what happened? You know, my brain is talking to me and say, I think yesterday we had a fight and possibly she is upset at me. Ah, she's mad at me because I didn't send her a text message. Ah, she is thinking like that because I told her something last week. You see this? Now poor she, she may not have recognized you all together. She may be in her own busy world. She may be in her own thoughts. But what your brain did just now is the meaning making machine driven thoughts. Okay. You just wanted to know why she did that to you. She didn't wave at you. Why was the reason? What was the reason? And in this process, what we do, and let me tell you, we do this every day, day in and day out. We receive thousands of messages, right? WhatsApp, social media, 
and every time there is a communication what we do is we bring this drive on we bring this brain into thinking what is she thinking why is this happening why is she sent this sort of a smiley somebody just told me that what is the meaning of this smiley and i'm like well my, the meaning in my mind was blessing i don't know what you took it but this is how because every single brain connects to its experiences connects to its deep emotion and brings out a meaning and what happens in the process what happens in the process is we are tired our brain is exhausted making meaning from absolutely everything what is happening around i want you to be careful to not fall trap at this meaning making part of the brain i want you to be conscious i want you to live every day not committing this mistake of falling trap to this meaning making drive i see suicides i see people dropping dead at the pretext that i will not get good marks the marks are not out yet the student has given the exam but the pretext the brain has made a story i'm not going to succeed i'm going to be a failure i'm not going to pass and what happens you commit suicide at that powerful emotional drive that i am a failure drives you to push the limits of existence and commit suicide which is very bad because now posthumously excellent marks come out your pretext what you made was completely fallacious it was absolutely wrong whatever you trusted to your brain's emotional capability that it's making a story and a meaning that you will fail was absolutely wrong so my dear friends i want you to take this home a message that consciously please think what your brain is doing there is a mode of autopilot happening yes as i drive the car my brain absolutely takes all the sensations but it's barely aware sometimes you wonder oh i reached this destination i'm sure a lot of you would have felt that autopilot drive of the brain it happens often but i want you to be conscious in this process especially when it is making meanings when it is relating meanings texting has become so popular an exercise but tell me how many relations are made through texting if you look at the data most people are having divorces because of the miscommunication through texting well there is no connection there is no story you cannot read my body language you cannot read me you cannot understand what i am trying to think or portray while you just see the message and what you feel is your brain's meaning making drive gets on wild it thinks negative most of the times we are into the survival mode fight or flight okay we are physiologically tuned to go either into the fight mode or the flight mode and i have done that i've lost a wonderful family friend because of this reason because at every single message every single moment i feel threatened i feel threatened to survival i feel threatened in a relationship and this is what makes my brain absolutely become negative associate a negative meaning to it while that is not the truth so my very important message to you friends is yes brains love stories you must make habit of reading great stories to become successful you must connect to people who can tell you real life stories who are heroes of their own life yes you have to watch documentaries which are portraying unbelievable and unimaginable stories your whole brain kicks in you connect at a deeper level your emotional drive is intact you understand meaning much deeper than what the brain would ever 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 get it mr paul and dr paul and his experiments are fantastic to know the amount of the brain which gets stimulated when you listen to a story absolutely phenomenal you should leverage this part of the brain you should not uh, think that stories are something which are unimportant stories are very very powerful make a habit to create a story make a habit to present yourself in a beautiful way whenever you are introducing yourself in a story but don't fall trap to this meaning making drive unfortunately we live in a world where communication has advanced but our relationships have faltered we live in a very very threatened and sort of a society where everything is negatively portrayed within ourselves unfortunately because it is the meaning making drive which is within ourselves and the only way to come out of that is you and me understanding this meaning making drive and then 
giving a positive twist to it. So the next time when I see this friend going from one place to the other and not waving a hi at me, I should make a positive story and tell to the brain, ah, I think she did not notice. Ah, I think she is in her own thoughts, poor she. Ah, I think she is already busy doing something and that is the reason she did not attend. Well, when I tell this positive relation to the story, this positive emotion to the story, the brain does not get down into a spiral mode of survival, fight or flight. It is relaxed. It is not stressed. Now it can think better. So every day I want you guys to observe how many times we do this. We do this day in and day out, any age. No age is barred at that. I want you to consciously come out of this trap, but at the same time, leverage the power of stories, educators, teachers. This is a request to bring in as much live stories as possible. As many people who can tell their stories to our young, brilliant, bright minds. Brain is waiting. Brain is waiting to, for that moment to connect to engage, to build, to develop. And as the story is powerful, the narrative is powerful, the emotion is deeper and the message is absolutely drilled inside the brain. So thank you. I hope that uh, this ride across understanding the story, one, understanding how brain relates to the story and two, falling trapped to brain's ability to create story is understood well and I pray that this is applicable in everyday life. And thank you again for a patient hearing. Uh, kudos to the brain. Kudos to you. Kudos to self. Let's not just reinvent the self, but reinvent community, nation, society, world and planet at large. Goodbye.